Well, I'll ask you kind of the same thing I asked Coach Gibby just there. What kind of level of urgency has there been in practice this week? Like, hey, guys, we've got to be locked in on the first snap. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot. Uh, they snapping the ball within eight seconds. Uh, one time I was watching the game, six seconds. So, really, I'm trying my best also just to, even when we are Skelly, just trying to hurry up and get us to uh, line back up after the play. Just because that tempo, they the only people who, like, I didn't play Ole Miss. You know, they tempo fans, but not like this. And then uh, as far as, as getting used, getting keeping up with that speed, how important is it going to be to communicate in between plays, make sure guys are on the same page with it's such a quick turnaround between snaps? Yeah, yeah, you have to. I mean, communication is key. If you don't communicate, it's over with. But, I mean, you can be wrong, but as long as everybody wrong, you're right. So you have to communicate. Communicate always key. And then uh, obviously, lose, well, Caden had a kind of an early exit game. One, how important is it going? How big is it going to be for him to be able to play a full game and have have him in the middle of that defense? Yeah, that's huge. I mean, he's definitely a leader coming back. He didn't play a whole lot of football uh, at that Mike position, so yeah, we need him there for sure. It's going to be big getting him back. Obviously, there's a balance in that. You guys want to play better than you did Saturday, but at the same time, you got the dub. Yeah. Which, uh, sort of describe that feeling, I guess. Where you did, in one hand, you yeah. did what you had to do, but you need more. Yeah, I mean, a team like this, you know, we're happy about the win. Like, we always want to win. It's hard to win. So, good thing we did get that win, but it definitely wasn't the way we wanted to. So, you know, we was happy about it, but at the same time, it's a lot that we needed to correct. It was really a lot of self inflicting things that we did um, on our part. Uh, not taking nothing away from West Carolina, because they definitely came to play. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely something that we, we want to get corrected. And we need to this week, you know, playing a team like Tennessee. If we do that, we won't get embarrassed, you know. What were some of the growth areas uh, going into this week that y'all singled out? Uh, really just communication and assignments, you know. Uh, just, I feel like it was also the first game, so a lot of people had to settle in, uh, including myself. Like, I didn't probably settle in until about middle second quarter, you know, so. Uh, just settling down and communicating and really just playing 11 man football. If everybody's doing their 11, then we'll be good. Kind of simulating the speed and talent that you have to deal with this week uh, in practice. Yeah, so we're doing a good job at that. Like I was just talking about uh, just trying to get everybody to hurry up and get back to the ball, even when we a skeleton, just trying to get everybody to hurry up and run back and get in the position. It'll be easier in the game because we don't know where the ball will be placed on the hash. You know, when we in practice, they switch hashes. So it's, it's really even harder at practice, honestly. So you feel like if you master it at practice, you'll be able to handle it Saturday? Yeah, for sure. Uh, practice is always harder than the game. At least it should be. Here it is. So, yeah. What are some of the players, or some of the uh, schemes, anything about Tennessee that sticks out to you? Uh, really, the biggest thing is just that, that tempo. You know, they try to hide a lot of things with tempo. Uh, but good thing that we have coordinators who, who played this offense before, so they know, you feel me? So, they we really uh being able to adapt and just pick up some things that they didn't did hopefully in the past and see how that'll go. You come to NC State to play games like this out of man? Yes, sir. How geeked are you? 100%. I mean, I'm just excited. You know, it's in front of the world. Uh, the biggest thing for me, I just kind of keep telling the guys, like, it's really all about us. I'm really just excited to go and put that on film, you know, play with my brothers in front of everybody. Yeah, it's going to be great. How do you balance kind of wanting to match that tempo without, like, exhausting yourself with defense? Yeah, I mean, it really ain't no, you know, you just got to, you got to go, you got to roll, ain't no subbing either, so you just got to at practice, just start at practice, honestly, just getting in shape and running back to the ball. Yeah, we did, we actually did some stuff today, just at the end of the practice, just no play, just tempo, just trying to get ready and be in shape. For that. When you have an offense like Tennessee's that can throw the ball pretty well downfield, obviously their run game is as good as theirs, it's so complete, like how do you kind of approach that from a defensive mindset? Uh, it's really just all about us, I think, mean, you know, we lock in and do what we have to do. I mean, I'm sure that our game plan is good enough. To stop it, but that is a good team, like you said. They well balanced. They can throw the ball and they can run the ball. They got big bodies on the front. They got big bodies on the outside. You know, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a dog fight for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's definitely gonna be fun. Do you feel like 